Hey, the name's Cruel, that's King Rob Rule, and welcome to my no-nonsense weapon guide series for Monster Hunter Rise. These videos serve as tools to make first-time weapon use less daunting. This is in no way an in-depth guide or even a full toolkit of any given weapon. It is simply a starting point to give the fundamentals of the weapons and my own personal recommendations. If you're looking to find optimization, you won't find it here. And with that, let's get started. The Switch Axe is an all offense, no defense weapon. The Switch Axe has two modes, Axe Mode and Sword Mode. Think of Sword Mode as your big damage mode. The catch is, using Sword Mode is finite. When Sword Mode is down, you can use Axe Mode in between. The only switch skill I will recommend changing from default is Forward Overhead Slash, which can be unlocked by completing the 3 star urgent village quest, Feathered Frenzy. Let's get into the Axe Mode combos. You can loop a 3 hit X mode combo like this. By spamming the A button, you can do this wide swinging axe attack. Just be mindful that it depletes your stamina. By pressing X in the middle of this combo, you'll do a finishing attack and will result in these arrows showing up next to the sword gauge. Remember this, we'll come back to it. Alternatively, you can press ZR during the combo and you'll do this wide range spin attack. To morph into sword mode, Press ZR while idle. It's the same going from sword to axe. That combo I showed off before can be used as a morph attack into sword mode by pressing ZR one more time. For sword mode, your X combo will have you sweeping up and down with the sword. The A combo has you swinging left to right and then has a jumping finisher. This is a great DPS combo for an infinite loop. But let's be real, we're all here for this attack, the finishing discharge. To execute this move, press X and A together, and then start spamming the X button quickly until you see the explosion. Be mindful that if you try to use sword mode when the gauge is below this marker, you'll be forced into a lengthy reload animation. You'll notice when landing hits on the monster while in sword mode, a meter outside the sword gauge will fill up. Notice how when the orange arrows are up, the meter feels faster. This is why I showed you that combo in axe mode earlier. When the gauge is full, your sword gauge will glow green. This means your weapon is amped up, and attacks in both sword and axe mode will be more potent. But most importantly, your finishing discharge can now do this. The input is exactly the same as a regular finishing discharge. Now moving on to Y bug attacks. First up, ZL plus X is Invincible Gambit. This has you hurling forward with your axe, allowing you to power through monster attacks. However, despite the name, you still take damage, so use with caution. ZL plus A lunges you forward and restores some sword gauge. Your sword gauge will also not deplete for a short amount of time. This move is really abusable, so you may as well take advantage of it. Okay, let's put it all into practice. So I like to start my encounters by closing the distance with the forward and X switch skill I recommended earlier in the video. From here, I morph into sword mode by pressing ZR and start working on building up to my amp state. Notice the little side hops I do in between attacks. You can do this by pressing B and a directional input to the left or right after an attack. So here, I morph back into axe mode so I can set up the combo that will make building up to amp state even faster. Luckily my onslaught of attacks knocks Rathian out of her roar and I'm almost fully amped up. The final jumping spin attack in the sword A combo builds amp gauge the fastest, so keep that in mind. So now I figure it's time to use my amp state with the finishing discharge, but I miss. But that's okay, we commit and still get a nice flinch from the explosion. We follow up by cheesing our way back to almost full sword gauge with ZL plus A. And when in position, we go for what we set out to do originally. You will take damage from doing this move if there is a hitbox on the body part you are attached to. You will probably die a few times while learning how to pull it off successfully, so be warned. Anyway, that was Switch Axe in 5 minutes. I've been King Rob Rule, and I'll see you in the next video. Next up is Charge Blade. Oh, oh god, how will I do that in five minutes? Oh, gotta go fast.